Okay, time for some handicrafts. Who likes handicrafts? I do. Um, you may like this one a little better when you find out that it pertains to uh, your bow psaltery and maybe helping you uh, do your upkeep on the bow and rosining the bow occasionally. I, I use this quite a bit um, when I'm rosining bows, especially new bows. But I lost um, what I had. I misplaced it, can't find it. Gonna make another one. Gonna show you how. Um, and I'm gonna show you the process. So, our rosin cake that's in our case and everything's good and we're, we're rosining the bow and we start to put it back in the case and we drop it on the floor. Concrete floor, what happens? If you've ever done it, you already know what happens. You end up with, with a shattered cake of rosin all over the floor. All is not lost. Don't sweep that up and put it in the trash. Sweep it up in a dustpan, separate all the trash out of it. Um, put it in a baggie, save it. So we're gonna use that. What I've taken here is a um, piece of a microfiber cloth. Uh, just put a, I just cut out a uh, roughly a square. It's probably five inches square. Um, it could be a, a terry cloth washcloth. It doesn't have to be this size, any size you want to make it. I, I think it's a convenient size to store and I'll show you what I'm talking about on that after we get it made. But let's take some of this and make some rosin dust. Let's pulverize some of this. I'm just going to use that's about half of it. I'm going to fold that over. And now the fun part. Don't hit your fingers. Crunch that baby up. Let's see if we're doing anything here. Oh, yeah. So after you get the big particles crunched, just go in there. Yeah. You see a couple little dog hairs in there, or cat hairs, so I'm gonna pick those out. Alright, we we'll do it. Now I'm just mashing and pulverizing the bigger particles into dust. Roughly staying in the center of my square. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Occasionally, you can pick it up and flop it back over into the center. So after beating it up for the first little bit, you don't have to do that anymore. I can just kind of mash it around. The claw hammer works great. Pretty much there. I'll spread that back out. Yeah, I see some bigger particles in there. I'm just gonna keep smashing. Actually, kind of satisfying. So when you rosin your bow. What you're doing is when the fibers of the bow hair rub across the rosin cake, it flakes off into a fine dust, which is sticky. That's the rosin dust, and that sticky dust is what creates the, the uh, friction that you need to make a sound on the bow's halter. It causes the string to vibrate. Those aren't dog or cat hair. Those are little strings of my cloth. But I think it probably will fold it up and see. It didn't come through the back. 
it, it may work its way through all the way through the cloth I, I don't know but for now I'm just gonna keep it on one side um, that looks good to me I, I think we're through I'm gonna pick this up I'm gonna handle it in a way so that I don't dump it out um, you can add more you could take some of this excess and put it back in the bag would be okay. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, these are a new pair of bows that I made and I'm getting ready to ship them today so I wanted to um, get them rosin to do the initial rosining and I'll show you my process for that. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and rosin the bows. I'm, I'm keeping that so you know you're doing some good when it squeaks like that. So just work some of that powder and that dust into the bow hair. Let back out flat. Now just roll it. Just roll that bow hair between your fingers. That is working it down into the fibers of the of the bow. And that's that's what you want. So do that again, all the way from the top to the bottom. Now, probably would be okay to go ahead and start playing. Just right there. I'll do one more step when I'm doing uh, working with new bow hair. This is a, uh, an alcohol prep pad like you would use to give an injection. Just open that up. Just a uh, a cotton ball or whatever with some uh, with some rubbing alcohol on it would work. So I'm going to clean the outside surface of that bow hair. So I'm actually cleaning some of that off, but also what's happening is that the uh, the dust that's on there is the alcohol is melting that um, so that it when it evaporates and dries, it's going to be extremely sticky. And you can play with it like that uh, without having any dust. It would be dust free. Um, has to completely evaporate, the liquid does, before you start to play. Uh, you can just, you can try it, but give it, um, give it several minutes, maybe 10 minutes to evaporate. Uh, but what I like to do after that, while it's still just a little bit damp, I will do this again. Uh, put another little coating of, of my rosin dust on the outside surface of the bow hair. And that probably rubbed all that moisture away. Squeaky. Squeaky's good. So those are rosined and ready to play. They should grab onto the, the rosin cake. Hear the squeak. So it's, it's creating that friction. It's picking up a little more of the dust from the rosin cake. Um, pretty much ready to play, ready to go. Um, your finger is gonna get a little sticky doing that. So clean it, maybe take another one of the little swabs there and, and uh, clean it off your fingers. Ready to go. So, what's left over in this, and there's still a lot of dust there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save that. I'm gonna roll it over two times. I'm gonna fold it and you could store it in the same baggie with the uh, the broken pieces, um, you could get you another. This is a one quart freezer bag, but so it may be a little bit big. But you want to try to keep it folded up so the so the excess dust will stay inside the little square. So ready to go. You could fold this over. You could put that in the case of your saw tree. As long as it's in the bag, it's going to keep everything clean. Um, but that's 
that's the arts and crafts lesson for today. Got to go get these in the package and get them ready to ship. Hope you enjoyed it.